Imagine this sharp pointed edge of my sledgehammer is the bow of my boat. It's perfect for cutting through the water and the waves. But let's see what happens when it encounters the ice. It didn't cleave its way through the ice. But Steinhaus realized that approaching the ice from a different angle produced a much better result. Wow! <laughs> that was amazing! And coming from above makes a big difference. So Steinhaus set out to create a spoon-shaped hull that could crash down on the ice. The wider, shallow bow allowed a ship to slide up the edge of the ice before gravity forced it down on top. The ship's weight produced a huge shearing force and reduced the ice's resistance. To test it, engineers tow a scaled model with Steinhaus's spoon-shaped bow at around three and a half miles per hour, simulating an icebreaker's speed. The model's filled with instrumentation so they can see exactly what's happening, how the hull design is breaking up the ice. With the ratio, the ice it's cutting through is approximately three feet thick. In 1871, Steinhaus launched Icebreaker 1 into the seas. Its spoon-shaped bow design paved the way for vessels to reach the planet's most inaccessible locations. 